welcome to our kitchen. Welcome to the set. It's wonderful to have you both here. And Rule, you opened tonight with something very special. It was a set within the set tonight. Yeah. And your music clips often have a story behind them. Mm -hmm. Why is it that you love doing that? Um, I just think every time I write a song or want to put out a song, uh, like I, there's always a visual behind it. Like even if it hasn't been kind of developed yet, like just when I hear it, I'll I just see like a certain I don't know, colour scheme or time in which it's shot. So you've been releasing music since 2017. We're now in 2021. Rule, we need to know, when are we going to get an album? Well, it's coming. That's all really I can say. Tell us more. Well, yeah, I've been working with PJ Harding. And, yeah, we've just kind of found a new little sound and I've been just writing away and it's a lot more kind of rewarding. I don't know why, just having two of us... Um, in a studio, write a song, leave, come back, write another song, and it's all very familiar instead of you know, going to LA or yeah. Europe and kind of going into a session with a bunch of strangers each day because it's just a bit weird, like, when you meet someone for the first time and it's like, OK, we're supposed to write a song and... But not like, only write a song, write a hit. Yeah, exactly. We've got to write a goddamn hit. Yeah. yeah. I want to talk about approaches to music as well because your first record from 2015, 31, Major success. You followed it up recently with PM. <clears throat> How did you approach doing the second record? Um, I kind of I did it over a longer period of time because <clears throat> the first album was off the back of a successful single. How long did it take you to write the first record? Oh, I did that in maybe six months or something. Jeez. Which is still longer than a lot of people. I'm a slow mover. Six oh, months is short. That's short. I never, that's short for a bloody album. I never let my heart rate get above, like, 95 or something. Is that, <laughs> is that, would I be dead or something? <laughs> Weren't you yeah. in Nicaragua? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> actually, your buddy, Phases. Yeah. M Phases? Uh, yeah, I did a song with M Phases. Um, we were on like a songwriting trip with a bunch of other people and in the middle of the jungle with a bunch of monkeys. And they, they get at it when you go to bed, and Wait, it sounds like. Get at it? Get, no, they're, they're, with the noise. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, they probably also do that. Yeah, I mean, that's probably what causes the noise. Wait, so are you saying that the monkeys having sex influenced your album? I mean, you I'm said trying it, to, Linda. I'm trying to make sense of it. My journalist no, side is coming no, out here. Just the sound, they, they sound. They sound crazy. Like, they start making a lot of noise at night time. But if you solo right. track certain tracks on every song made on that trip, you will hear monkeys in the background. Hmm. What a tidbit. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty cool. You've been around the world as well. Were you once in a haunted Airbnb? Cool. Yeah. I mean... No, but yeah. What was I, it? Well, so we're in uh, Paris, me, uh, and just a bunch of my team, and uh, Sarah Aaron's a songwriter in phases. And uh, we're in this one house, like, right in the middle of the city, and uh, there was a light switch in my room uh, that kind of uh, activated one of the light switches downstairs, and I just started, like, flicking the light switch, just, just fuck with them. And then um, I think it's because I was, like, doing it in time. I was like... Tick, tick, yeah. tick, 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 tick. That's a good and they were like, like oh, freaking out. They thought I was upstairs asleep or like playing video games or something. And um, anyway, and then I heard them say like, if you're a ghost, like click twice for yes. So I was like, <laughs> and they were like, ah! they're like, oh, like are you a mean ghost? And I was like, ah! and, like, ah! <laughs> and then um, never told M Phases that it was me. So if he's watching now, this he now, knows. Yeah. Yeah, so sorry, now, phases. M phases. Because he tells every single person that he has a session with that he like saw this guy. So wow. sorry, man. You're a bully and a yeah. liar. I won't stand for it. I'm I, gonna, I'm gonna bully him. You're I'm gonna, gonna get him. So yeah. bully. Do. I want to find out who the professional hot boys are. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> okay. So me and my mate um, Maddie Corby were making some music one time and. We needed a little band name to <laughs> name the project, and we called it the Professional Hot Boys. So there are is demos that, of you and Matt Corby that are say, that that say Professional Hot Boys. So no, bad? no, it's not out there yet, no. Yet? We'll, not yet. Shit. We'll get it there. OK. Yeah. What's, is it it, what's the genre? Is it like like the band name sounds? It actually is like a... <laughs> no. <laughs> what does not, Professional yeah. Hot Boys sound <laughs> like to you? <laughs> what do you think like it club, sounds like? Like doof doof club music. Yeah. But, no, yeah. It, it's actually like a little bit of an Eagles kind of vibe. Oh, OK. Like band of horses. Someone's good. Oh. It's really cool. Right? <laughs> <laughs> OK, Jared, rule. We're at a party. We're going to play a party game. Yeah. One that is very exciting. It's called Never Have I Ever. Oh. So we're going to take it in turns to read a card. That's good. Never have I ever been starstruck by another musician. Take a sip if you've done it, uh, if you've been starstruck. Oh, and you've got to explain okay. it. You've got to explain it. Oh, OK, then no. 
Um... Oh, sorry, I drank, but I, that wasn't a drink for the game. Oh, okay, no, you go. You have to you go. go. You have to you explain. Go now. No, but. So you've never been starstruck? No, you're not off the hook. No, so wait, let me just talk to Jared. I just um, drank because I was thirsty. I, w I don't get starstruck. I don't you don't get starstruck? No, not really. I'm sorry. I don't get starstruck when I meet people. I get starstruck if like, they're in like my DMs or like they're. Uh, okay. Who? Oh, okay. I don't want to say. Uh, oh, get my it. God. I'm this is an interview rule. You know why you're here. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Okay, you know what? We'll go on. There's one for you. Okay. Oh, you it's gotta really read it out. Stuck loud. to the thing. I'm oh, sorry, it's stuck. Um, never have I ever used someone's toothbrush or someone else's toothbrush. Huh. <clears throat> yeah. I would use. Care to explain? Care to explain? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would use both of your toothbrushes. I'd use oh most God, of them. Oh my God! Thank you <laughs> yeah. so much. For real. I trust. You, have, you don't know where my mouth is. Don't judge me. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Okay, no, go I, on. I don't care. That's yours. Never have I ever pulled a sickie. What? That's so yeah. lame. That's easy. <laughs> what are you? What I never have I ever done something naughty. <laughs> uh, never have I ever worn a baseball cap <laughs> and dark glasses in public to hide who I am. Oh, that's so... Oh, You've okay. done it. <clears throat> Sip it. Sip it up. They weren't, they weren't dark glasses. They were just glasses. But it's... Oh, I don't even need to. No one even fucking knows who I am. <laughs> Um, never have I ever made out to one of my own songs. No, nah, hell no. You went you to You went to No, that. sorry, no, no. I had another thing in my head. What were you was, thinking? I got road... This is... Actually, I'm glad this came up. <laughs> I, got Go road, I got road raged by someone who was listening to my music. <laughs> while they screamed at me. That's a How did you... Oh, they were screaming at you. What yeah. did you hear? They rolled the window down and you heard... Yeah, and they were screaming. They were like... Yeah, it was pumped. It was pumped in their car and they were screaming at me. What were they, they screaming? Do you remember? I can't say it on television. Did you scream back? No, I was like, what are you listening to that for? <laughs> no, That's did weird. you? Did you actually no, say that? I was just weirded out. Oh, never have I ever said, do you know who I am? <laughs> I don't think anyone would admit to that if they've done it or not, right? Uh, no, I definitely haven't, but I know people that have and yeah. have admitted it. Yeah. And it's, oh, it's so hard. Yeah. And like, said it. No, I can't say, you see? <laughs> Are you serious? You think they expose people doing that? Shit? Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, we'll leave it there then. No, it's such an entertaining interview. I'm just like, this person did this, but we yeah, can't absolutely. tell you. Uh, Jared James, you are about to perform one of your latest tracks, yeah. Overdue. But before we get into that, <laughs> DJ Emmy Saw, would you please get the dance floor going? <laughs>